Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video. Um, and today is the review for the Apocalypse Medusa uh, clone. Um, here it is in all in all of its glory. All right, it's a very beautiful knife. Oh yeah, let the sun come out and shine up. Um, and yeah, so this Balasong clone is actually pretty fantastic. Um, it's really good money, value for money. Um, and it's, it's a really good flipper as well. It's a fantastic flipper, super competitive. Um, and honestly, I don't have too much bad to say about it. There's a few little nitpicks around here and there. But other than that, um, yeah, anyways, let's get right into it. I mean, looks-wise, it has got V3 handles and a sort of Medusa-inspired blade. Um, it is a very nice kind of aggressive Tanto uh, look. Uh, it is... The colours on this thing are also quite pretty. Um, I'm sure there are screws that you can get that will fit here that will make it look more like the actual Medusa. Um, but overall, the tune does come in pretty nice. Um, yeah, there's your your plate. It's actually a little less than that. The screws I haven't got them fully tightened. Tightened. Um, but the the you know the the swing is fine and the play is obviously like you know non-existent. Um, uh, I also have the trainer blade, which you can check out my video on that, that kind of gives my thoughts on it. Um, and this will also kind of be reviewing the trainer blade. I do like the trainer blade option. Um, but I do think that the live blade flips better, or the false edge, or whichever you choose to get. So when it comes to, like, appearance, you know, I do think overall it scores pretty highly. Let me give it a nice kind of 7, 7 out of 10. Um, I don't know, I expect it to, I love the handles, I think the blade... I don't know. I do really like the handles, but they do have this strange kind of. If you get the the anodized ones, they have a, a strange like not plasticky, but like there's a weird coating on them. That they still feel like titanium, and you can tell it's titanium. But they have a weird coating on them, so I would advise get maybe the raw one. But then again, you probably won't be able to get anodized uh, colors because of these press fit pins, which can cause some issues when uh, when anodizing. Um, oh. I like that little that little circuit there. But um overall, when it comes to flipping, it is a very competitive flipper. Um, you know, it's a light kind of light to medium handle bias, um, but has enough tip weight to still fan absolutely beautifully. Um, and it, it does kind of lend itself to a bit more of a flowy flipping style, uh, which I do quite enjoy. Um you can see it does does fan absolutely well. Um, yeah, it's it's a it's a kind of light handle bias. Um, so you know, I think this will really suit a lot of people's preferences, um, especially if you like kind of your krakens and stuff. Um, they should really work quite nicely. Uh, it's it is fairly heavy at about one hundred and twenty nine and a half grams. However, it doesn't flip that way. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, so I actually do quite enjoy flipping this, even though I wouldn't say that heavy flippers are really my thing. But I will make exceptions. For example, the Chab is a really good flipper for the money. Um, but this is one of those where it's like, the only thing I'm really not a fan of would be maybe, I don't know, sometimes the handle shape isn't exactly my favorite. I, I don't know how to explain it, but like sometimes the, the back bit here, um, it is more or less flat. But, I don't know, sometimes it just feels like it's round. Um, I don't know, I, there's just something about this knife. It just doesn't have that spark, which is probably due to the balance. Uh, you know, it is a very competitive flipper, and so it just kind of does more or less everything. Um, yeah, it kind of does more or less all the tricks, you know. Maybe, except for Zed Choker, because I'm still bad at it. But, um, yeah, I really have nothing truly bad to say about it, other than... The stock hardware. The stock hardware isn't fantastic, and I do recommend to uh, switch it out. Uh, it takes like standard pivots, um, like the arm shark size pivots. They fit perfectly. They work much better. You'll get a much better sound. It does. It does kind of sound like that. Imagine that a little, a little more bouncy. Uh, you can check out my sound test, which should be out by the time this video comes out. Um, on my shorts, on my shorts page on my channel. Um, if you want like a proper nice, like lubed up and fully tightened up and stuff, um, you know, it chaplains really well. You know, 
nice weight. The weight isn't really hot spotted anywhere, like ridiculously. Um, even though you know it does have these blocks at the ends of the the handles, I think the weight is quite evenly distributed, especially in like relationship with the blade. And so I find it it does have. Imagine a Kraken with a bit more end weight would be like the nicest way I can kind of describe the balance. It is a really good balance. It's a very good flipper. Um, you know, it, it will do basically whatever you want it to. You know, as long as you're not a rubbish flipper like me, flipping in the cold in the winter. Um, and the blade steel is fantastic. Um, I doubt that it's S35VN, like it says here. Uh, but it is definitely better than the kind of crap D2 that they use. So whatever they are actually using as the blade steel is really, really good. Um, it, it holds up to the test of time. Uh, it takes abuse well. I don't know about how easy it is to sharpen. Um, that could kind of tell me a bit more about whether it's kind of S35. But I mean, the tip you know, it still holds up um, and whatnot. So I really don't have too much negative to say about... Uh, about this guy you know um tolerances are good flipping is also really good uh looks are pretty good price is uh you know i say it's a bit more on the expensive side uh but it does kind of hold that up in terms of its durability uh it is a tank like this thing like you know you're gonna drop this and it's gonna break the concrete right so i really don't think you've got to worry about durability um and especially with the fact that it comes with a trainer well not all of them but you can get a trainer blade um and i think the fact that there is an option for a trainer blade is what i was meaning to say um, is honestly really, really awesome. Um, and I do think some of the colorways that it comes in are just absolutely fantastic. So it's like the blues and the purples. I wish the colors were, I wish this was a little more like lower in, higher in the voltage range, I guess, like starting the color there. And I wish it ended a bit more in the greens um, because I'm not a fan of this like pinkish color. Um, but I do think it, it still looks really good um, and it glistens in the sun. And I mean, the color correction on the video makes it look not better than real life, but like, you know, how it would look like in the summer, um, which I, I do quite like. Um, so I'm a fan, big fan of, of this power sword in general, you know, uh, it would be a nice piece in my collection, but, um, goodness me, uh, you know, there are, you know, just sacrifices that have to be made, you know, I can't keep every single power song that I review for the channel. Um, and so I hope you've enjoyed kind of the little week that we've had with this guy. Um, you know, got more battle songs on the way, so don't worry. Do not be afraid. Um, but yeah, really, really enjoying this. Um, it's a fantastic little, little flipper. Um, it's really good titanium, you know, really good titanium belly. You know, I really don't have much negative to say about it. Literally, swatch the screws out and, uh, and there you go. I think overall I'd give it like a 7 out of 10. Um, and that's literally just because, or maybe, yeah, that's just because of the balance profile. Um, and the screws maybe a six and a half just for the screws um but honestly the the female pivots are fine um the male pivots are, honestly the stock hardware is fine as long as you lock tie it i don't like to lock tie my balasongs um i think if you need to lock tie a balasong that's like a poorly made balasong you know um so i'm not even a fan of like squid that lock tights the the krakens and stuff from factory um i don't think that you should really be doing that that's why i kind of i'm a big fan of my machine wise stuff that doesn't kind of have to do that and even some ldy stuff doesn't need um, Loctite either um, Although they do crank their bolts So that's a different story um, But yeah, I'm, I'm a really big fan Of how it flips I do think if you can get yourself one And you like it, you like the design You want something that's you know nice and ringy I've seen a guy do a mod on Reddit um, Where he like cut out these bottom bits So it looks more like a V2 handle um, And it rings a lot more So if you like ring, you have that option as a modification You know, just get yourself like a saw or something You can just like <laughs> I'm fine, I sand it down. Although, you know, I don't know how nice that's going to look on the coloured ones, but on the grey ones and the raw ones, it should look absolutely fine. Um, and I mean, yeah, it's really, really just a really nice flipper. It's, it just does every trick, super comfortable in the hands. Um, it's not very aggressive. Like, I think the coating that they put on here is really nice. Like, it's, it does make it feel kind of soft. Um, the blade is chamfered. That's the word I'm looking for. Um, which, you know, it's not uncomfortable, but it's definitely not, like, the most comfortable thing in the world. But it's, it's you know, it's nice. Um, but I'd say it's more the weight that makes it anything, uh, like, less comfortable, more so than the fact that it's chamfered. Um, and, you know, it does, it does flip well, so... Ah, almost. Um, 
but yeah, I really, I really do like this. So if you can get one of these and you don't mind that it's a Fellowship Blades clone, I mean, I, you know, I personally, I would rather get like an Impusa or something like that. So maybe in the future there will be like a Kukri edition, um, which should be pretty nice. Um, I'd consider that. Um, but yeah, overall, I think if you can get yourself one, really do. It's a really like consistent little flipper. You know, I have I have no qualms with this Balasong. It's really one of the more it's kind of like the arm shot Kraken for me, in terms of, it's pretty damn good, you know, it's it's a really good flipper, I recommend it, you know, if you're a beginner, it would work really well, it's a nice kind of balance that will kind of grow with you from kind of, you know, intermediate tricks to advanced tricks, like, you'll handle them really well, um, also, I'm, like, clenching because I'm so cold, um, but it's like one of those that, like, it just doesn't have that spark for me. So if you do like um, kind of more blade bias knives and more neutral blade bias knives, it definitely, it's not bad to flip and it's not really boring in terms of like the Kraken for me is boring. Um, like it's, it's just performance and that's like it for me. Um, so if you do have that similar taste, um, you know, you can kind of see what I mean by it doesn't have the spark. Like the one tsunami has the spark, you know. Um, and so, yeah, it kind of, whereas the arm shark tsunami kind of rides that line between, it's actually a more handle bias than this, but it has a bit of that spark. This doesn't quite have the spark. Um, so even though I prefer the balance, um, you know, it's, it's just not quite what I'd envision this to be. But also I think that's probably true for the actual Medusa. I don't think it's going to be what exactly I want it to be in a, in a ballast on flipper. You know, it's not a ridiculously heavy knife. It's definitely like lighter than like the Alpha Beast clone and the Chab clone and stuff. Um, it doesn't flip as heavy as them. I say it flips a little heavier than the the one Monarch clone if you've had that, because um, these are all like the same weight. It flips maybe a little bit. I don't know. My rep clone's modded now. It probably flips lighter than the stock Arm Shark rep clone or like the Bally Plus rep clone, but it flips heavier than the carbon fiber inserts or the like the bushing spacer mod. So that's kind of a, a, a reference as to kind of how the weight feels in it um, because it's so nicely distributed it really does kind of just flip really consistently really um, and so yeah I think that's going to wrap it up for this video thank you guys so much for watching and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one peace one last mention in the video if you did enjoy the video say hello to my dog um, if you did enjoy the video you know, don't forget to uh, like comment and subscribe all that good stuff feel free to join a channel membership below I do intend on making that and a Patreon available um for people who will want to enter you know in this future potentially hosting giveaways um you know so yeah if that's something you're interested in or you just want to support the channel um in another way please feel free to do that um yeah so like comment subscribe all that good stuff you know uh, thank you guys so much for supporting the channel and watching the video you know, leave a comment i want to know what you think about it any other questions you have leave them in the comments below i'll get them answered uh, maybe you'll see this film one more time but other than that it's pretty much just going to the the online shop um to selling basically because uh this is not something that's gonna stay in my collection but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i'll catch you guys in the next one